How's it going, everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. I want to go over uh, some questions that I've had since I bought my Universal Audio Apollo Twin interface. Um, a lot of people ask me how I would record vocals and do all that stuff, but I haven't been doing any recording lately. All I do is mixing and mastering right now, uh, so I haven't really had an artist in here to be able to set it up and do all that. But I figured I could go through the steps on how to do it just so you could see uh, the process. So the first thing is what I'm going to be using it for. Right now I'm talking in to the Apollo Twin interface. I'm going through a microphone into the XLR input. I turn up my preamp, turn on my phantom power because it's a condenser mic. I set my level and then you can see the signal coming through right there. So that's the the current chain microphone into the preamp that's inside the interface and then it's being converted into a digital signal with the A to D conversion and going into the computer. Now say I want to add in a compressor. So the cool thing about the Apollo Twin and this console setup is that you could add in a compressor that is before the computer just as if it was an actual hardware compressor. So this is a big reason why I sold my hardware compressor because I now have access to a plug-in compressor that acts as a hardware compressor. And the way it does this is that inside of the Apollo Twin, it has its own DSP chip that could process it as if it was its own uh, compression, like as if it's a little hardware unit inside there. Uh, but it's just using the plugins, not actual compressor inside of it. But um, it's being used in the same step sequence as a hardware compressor. So hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody, but it's going, now I could go microphone into the interface where the preamp is. So I'm getting my mic levels being turned up with a preamp. So it's now line level. Line levels then being sent into this compressor uh, plugin. This is all inside of the interface still. And then that signal is being sent out through the uh, analog to digital conversion into the computer where you can see our signal. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead under inserts here. I'm going to go ahead and put a dynamic uh, LA-2A compressor. And now you can see, let me turn up my peak reduction so you can actually see it working. You can see I'm running through this compressor now. And turn up the gain a bit here. Okay, so it's that simple. Now I'm going, same thing, microphone into the XLR, which goes into the preamp of the interface. The preamp makes it line level, which is if you were going into a hardware compressor, the needed level. So I'm in the interface still, running through this compressor because it has its own processor to do it inside the compressor, or inside of the interface, sorry. Uh, and then it converts it to a digital signal, which the computer could read and be printed into Pro Tools. So it's a way to still use that hardware compression without having an actual hardware compressor uh, because it's still pre-computer that the compression is happening. Because if you were to simply just go over here and throw on a compressor, this is gonna be after the fact. It's not happening before it entered the computer. So that's the difference. Uh, you can't just throw on a compressor in Pro Tools and think that you're compressing a vocal as you're recording, because you're not. You're still recording it, and then it's compressing it. So now let's go ahead and look at uh, we got this going. Let's look at uh, how you make sure you're actually recording it because there is an option to not record and just monitor in this console. So if you're over here on insert effects, you can see UAD record, UAD monitor. So do you want it to monitor it? Just listen to it like this. It's going to sound the same to you either way, but when you press record, it won't record the plugin. Uh, it'll just, you'll hear it and that's it. You'll be recording a clean signal say you do want to commit so like with a compressor I would want to commit because I like how a compressor sounds on a vocal so UAD record this makes sure that when I record 
I am actually running through this compressor and it's being put into Pro Tools with that compressor on there. Now, let's say you want to do compression on it, but you want to hear reverb and not record it. So what you could do is come over here and let me get out of this so you can see. So over here on the inserts, this is my aux one. So I'm going to be sending out a signal into aux one to a reverb channel so we could hear it but not record it. So let me go ahead and add in a reverb. And right here, you can't hear me yet because I have it muted right here on aux one. So if I want to have this send actually sound like something, then I'm going to unmute it. Check, check one, two. And I could adjust the level of it over here, like that, how much reverb I want to hear. But you don't have to worry because this is not going to be recorded. This is just simply an insert that you're listening to. So if I press record, what I'm going to be recording is compression, but not reverb. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to mute this out so I don't get a double signal. And I'm going to press record so we can hear it. All right, check, check, check one, two. I'm coming in through, here's my preamp level, going into the compressor. I'm having it sent into a reverb so I can hear it, but that's not being recorded. It's just simply this compressor that's being recorded because I have the record insert selected. And let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. Check, check, check one, two. Heavy peak reduction, so you can see heavy compression. And then if I back it off, I'm not getting any compression down here. All right, so set your compressor how you want right here. Say you want to do really, really heavy compression. So something like this, and then turn up the gain so you could hear it still. So this is a heavy compressed signal. Usually I wouldn't do it this much because it's really uh, compressing the dynamics, but that's just to show you guys. And I could always turn that off if I don't want compression or keep it on for the compression. And to show you that my send isn't being affected at all, I could mute this reverb, I could keep it going, and I could hear it in my monitor, but it's not being printed in Pro Tools. All right, so let's go ahead and stop this recording. And let's go ahead and give it a listen to show you that there is compression, but there is no um, reverb going. And let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. Check, 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 one, two heavy peak reduction, so you can see heavy compression. All right, so that's just an example of how to use a compressor um, as if it was a hardware compressor inside of the console from UAD and using it with your Apollo Twin. All right, so hopefully that helps out. I know I was getting a lot of questions from people, um, especially when I first bought this Apollo Twin on how I would record vocals using it. And I do like that I could use a plug-in compressor as if it was a hardware compressor because it's pre-computer that it's happening. Uh, I sold my hardware compressor because I have this now, uh, even though I don't really record anymore. Um, but if I do record somebody, this is how I would do it. And hopefully that helps out. All right, so thank you guys for watching. If you need any mixing and mastering, head over to rawtechniquestudios.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.